What's up, everybody? It's Dominic369 for Occultism Unleashed. And today is Thursday. We working with Planetary Magic for Jupiter. Before I get into any spells or anything like that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the nature of Jupiter. Jupiter, you know, the planet Jupiter is the planet that's associated with the ancient Egyptian god Amun, who is the god that makes up everything, the king of the gods. Zeus is the Greek king of the gods. Jupiter is the Roman king of the gods. They all came from Amun. That's not here nor there. You know, when you're working with Jupiter, Jupiter governs expansion. Expansion and growth. You want to grow your money. You want to jump on here. Oh, we're going to do the planetary magic. Prosperity spell. Well, candle magic, prosperity, planetary magic with Jupiter. You'd say you want to do that, but your your mentality is constricted. With you know, your Saturn is overwhelming your mentality. Jupiter is about expansion. You can't think in a limited way. And expect for Jupiter to expand your abundance and push grow because your world is limited to how you think. So you have to be aware of the, the, the way that you think and how your thought process limits your ability to grow and manifest abundance through your Jupiter planetary magic. Where do you want to grow at? Where do you, where could you stand to grow at the most is where you should start at. Because when you're, when you're looking to grow, you have certain things within you that block your growth. So the thing you should focus your growth in abundance and prosperity, magic, Jupiter, magic too, is the place where you had the most problems at. The areas you need growth at the most, whether it's emotional intelligence, emotional maturity, spiritual, you know, intelligence, you know, stepping up your game in the area of, of, of your, you know, academic knowledge, improving your ability to communicate. Jupiter's energy should first be used to strengthen all your weak places. If that's focus, if that's getting on task and staying on task, your Jupiter magic should be first focused on expanding your strengths in the area where you're weak because the area where you're weak is why you can't expand and grow because the weaknesses are greater than your strengths. So the, the best thing to do to use Jupiter's magic is to grow, grow in wisdom, grow in knowledge, grow in understanding, in whatever area of your life you're lacking in that is causing the most resistance for you. Because when you outgrow certain limited beliefs using the energy of Jupiter, it is like you ever seen something that was bundled up real tight and then you cut the bundle and everything just all the energy just busts loose. That's what it is, man. When you start using Jupiter's energy to grow in the areas where you're weak, it automatically removes the, the restraints from the places where you're strong. So the first thing you need to be doing if you want to be successful with your planetary magic for Jupiter is working on expanding your strengths in the areas where you're falling short and weak at, in the areas where you're not knowledgeable at, in the areas where you can improve the most, you know, whether it's procrastination, speech, speech delivery, networking, you know, getting getting to the thing you need to do to get out your own way and situate your finances. Jupiter is going to help you. That's the first way you should be using Jupiter. And just so you guys know, because I forgot to do a short yesterday, there's a free training. I'm going to put the link in the description. Free training on how to cast your first powerful spell. Jump on that. 
jump on that. It's a free webinar teaching you how to cast your first powerful spell. Comes with a downloadable spell checklist. Follow the spell checklist. It's going to get you where to go, where you want to go, and you can really use it to power up your Jupiter spell today. So take advantage of it. It's not a limited, you know, training. It's always going to be free. The goal of me doing all this is unleashing the occult within you, the hidden power, your hidden potential. So now we're going to jump into a little bit of instruction <clears throat> on magic with Jupiter. So with your candles, you're always going to use the, the planetary magic for Jupiter, you know, the symbol for the planet Jupiter. Because we want to expand, we're going to use Sagittarius. We're going to use Sagittarius. And then we want to change our fortune in this situation. So we're going to use the part of fortune. Now check it. If you were wanting to expand your spiritual growth because Jupiter rules Pisces. Jupiter rules Pisces in planetary magic. And Pisces is ruled by Neptune. You can use the symbol of Jupiter, Sagittarius, and the trident of Neptune. For, for, you know, expanding your spiritual knowledge, expanding your, your focus and meditation, um, growing, growing in areas where you lack, expanding your control over substance abuse, you would, or, you know, outgrowing because expansion helps you outgrow things. So Jupiter, Sagittarius. Pisces, if you want to outgrow substance abuse, whether it's drugs or alcohol, or outgrow being a victim. This is why you need the rulership book. Where is this daddy at? I didn't plan to go this deep, but we here now. So let me see where I put, put this other book. If, it, if it's not in here, it's in my living room. And I'm, oh, here we go. At my desk where it's supposed to be. The Rulership Book by Rex Bills. You, you can understand what's ruled by each sign. You know, the planet tell you what's ruled by planet Venus. We're going to look at, you know, things ruled by Neptune. Things ruled by Neptune and Pisces. You're going to go into planetary magic. And use the Jupiter planetary magic for that with the symbols for Neptune and Pisces. So like I said, you know, Neptune and Pisces rule like substance abuse, being a victim all the time, you know, acting like, you know, you don't have control of the situation and you got to save people. These using Jupiter, Sagittarius and Pisces, you can outgrow this behavior. Then you charge your candle with intention and add, you know, add the things that, that go with it. You know, you have to understand. And you need to get you a tarot deck. You need a tarot deck. You can work spells with your tarot deck. This is the fortune card. And this deck is the uh, Crawley Thoth tarot deck. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I'll drop a link for that too. But this says fortune. Jupiter rules your fortune, man. Jupiter rules fortune. As you expand, you are going to go through changes and cycles. These are the things that cultivate your expansion. A part of fortune card, this, this fortune card will also, you know, you can, you can use this to meditate on. You can put this in front of your, you know, candle, sit it down on your altar with your planetary symbols, charge your candle, and then light the candle and sit there and meditate at the same time every day. At the same time every day at your candle. You don't got to stay there meditating, but you want to focus your intention and understand the symbols in that card and, and allow these, the, the symbols in this card to 
infuse your aura and your subconscious with the energy that you want. You see what I'm saying? Your, your, po your possibilities and potential are endless. Again, there's a free webinar. I leave the link in the description. Go watch it. Go cast your first powerful spell. And really take responsibility for your energy. Once you see you got the power then, use your power to grow and be the person you were meant to be, man. Got to try to respect, restrain some of my cussing. Be the person you were meant to be, man. Be the greatest version of yourself because it's, it's people waiting on you. New to the channel, man. Drop a like. Subscribe. I got some heat for you.